Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for joining me in this one. In this video, I'll be talking about the reasons why you should or should not roll over your 401k or your Roth IRA account. Now, I'll be talking from experience because I've actually done this in the past and I'll be sharing the reasons why I did that and of course, the lessons I learned from doing that. If you're new on my channel, my name is Steven Ojo and on this channel, we talk about finance and investment. So if you're interested in any of those, you know, kindly subscribe to the channel. For those that have subscribed to this channel for a while, I just want to thank you for sticking around with me. I've actually been quite busy with something uh, that I'll be sharing with you guys in the near future. And I believe that uh, this is something that is very important, of course, uh, to people that are pursuing their dreams. So I'll be sharing it with you when the time is right. But for now, let's uh, talk about this rollover of 401k or Roth IRA account. When it comes to rolling over your 401k or a Roth IRA account, there are a few things you should consider. Let's assume it's a 401k and uh, you starting a new job with a new employer and that new employer do have a 401k that they offer at the company as well, then it could make sense to roll over a 401k that you already have from a previous employer and roll it into a new 401k that you have with a new employer. The reason why you're doing this could be to be able to manage your investment in one place and that way you have a good financial picture of where, you're, you know, your, your, where you have financially in terms of your investment. The other reason for moving it over, it could be it's a cheaper or better investments are being offered by your new employer. As long as you are pleased with the investments that they offer and this you, with your new employer, you may want to roll or move your money from a previous employer because you don't like the investments that they offer or you feel like the fees are too high and you just want to move it over into this account that has better investments to offer. That is a good thing, of course. Now, there are some reasons why you may not want to move it over. For example, it's obvious it could be opposite of the things I've mentioned. Maybe they have higher fees with this new employer, or you don't like the investments that they offer. Or it also could be that you just want to separate these two accounts. So for example, some people would choose to have two 401k accounts and have different beneficiaries on them. Okay, so for example, let's say you have two kids and you just want one of your kids to have just in case something happens to you, right? You have one of the beneficiaries to be one of your kids and you have the other person to be one, the other kid. Or, you know, things of that nature, you just want to split it out like that. There's so many reasons why you could go about it. Now, let's talk about the reason why I decided to roll over my Roth IRA. The first reason is fees. Now, of course, we know that when it comes to investing, fees is very important. You have to always consider the fees that are associated with your investment. Initially, the fees are things that we overlook because we see these numbers and we feel like, well, they're only taking $10 or they're only taking $15 you know, per month. When you start to add that up over time and you start to consider the implication of interest in terms of you know, over 10 years, 20 years, you see that these fees do add up over time. And that is why you should consider them early as well. Now, sometimes you will have no choice. And I'm actually in a situation like that right now where I really don't like the some of the funds that I'm holding in some of my retirement accounts. But the reason why I still hold them is because out of all the options that I have, they still seem to be better off, even though they're a little bit higher on the fees. So sometimes you have no choice. Your goal is to find a fund that gives you the most return with the lowest amount of fees. So you can't really do away with fees, but you just want to find the ones that, that is bearable and that makes sense for the returns that they offer. I don't want to go into the details about active and passively managed funds in this video. If you're interested in that, I do have some videos on my channel that talks about the differences between these two. The other reason why I decided to uh, roll over my Roth IRA was because I saw better investment investments in the new uh, provider. The previous provider only had very limited amount of investments and that meant that I was restricted to you know their investments and I didn't want that. I wanted maybe more freedom and just have more options. So I, that's one of that's the second reason. Now the third reason why I decided to roll over my Roth IRA was because I didn't want to deal with the financial advisor. Now with the previous provider they had the system in a way that you constantly have to go through your financial advisor to be able to choose your investment. And I didn't like that. I wanted a bit more freedom to do the things I want. Now, don't get me wrong. This has is a two-edged sword because if you don't know what you're doing, you might choose the wrong investment at the wrong time. If you are knowledgeable about investment and you know what to look for, then this might be better for you to be able to, to, be able to you know, choose your own investment so that you don't have that restriction or at least you, have that, you don't have that person over there uh, trying to prevent you from doing the things you want to do. I didn't like that. I wanted my own freedom. I wanted to do my own things. And that was my third reason for choosing to move my uh, Roth IRA. Now, let's now talk about 401k real quick. Now, I won't be going into the details 
And I'm just sharing my own experience and I'm just sharing the things that you should consider. And when it comes to rolling over a 401k, one of the key things you want to consider is making sure that you have the right information. Because if you do it the wrong way, you may end up owing taxes and you may have having to also pay a penalty if you don't do it right. So my best advice to you is to make sure that you call you know, maybe your HR department or your benefit department or someone that handles your 401k, ask them how this could be done to avoid any penalties. Now, generally, most established uh, institutions, financial institutions, by the way, would be able to just do a trustee to trustee or trustee to trustee transfer. Now, the key thing here is that if you're choosing to roll over your 401k, just make sure that you do this the right way. I'm not, there are so many ways to do this. Different providers do have different ways of doing it. My goal is just to let you know that the best way to go about doing this is to contact your benefit department in your company and ask them how you could transfer your 401k account. The other thing is you may need to contact your previous employer as well to find out if you want to transfer, how that could be done. Without, uh, without any uh, fees or incurring any fees. Now, one of the things that you should keep in mind is when you're rolling over an account, there could be some fees associated with it, especially when it comes to like a Roth IRA. I remember I had to pay some fees. I didn't like that, kind of hurt, but that's what happens with certain type of accounts. Some accounts will ask that you pay a termination fee or a fee to close the account, things of that nature. And these are the ways that this also, these financial institutions do make money. So you have to keep those things in mind. And that is why, you know, I cannot give you a guide because every company would have different ways of doing it. But I'm just going to let you know that there are certain things you should watch out for. And the best way to do it is actually to talk to your financial advisor from your company, from your uh, HR department, someone that is not really out there to get money from you, if that makes sense. Someone that is actually working for the company you're with, and that way they can give you the best uh, information. If you have found value in this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And also if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing. I would love to see you in my next one.